Hi friends, today's lesson is for module four, lesson two. Our learning goal for today says, I can break five into parts and put it back together again. Hey, that's what we did in our last lesson. Do you remember what that tool is that we use to help keep us organized? It's called a number bond. Yeah, a number bond. Good job. Let's use that again today to keep us organized, okay? All right, well I was cleaning out Miles' backpack and he had all these Valentines in there. I mean, Valentine's Day just happened not too long ago. And I decided I would put these into, I would talk about these in their different parts. Okay, so this is a whole amount that I found. I'm going to go ahead and put, instead of a circle, I'm going to do a box today. So I'm going to do a box, and then I have the paths connecting to the other boxes. Now, if this is the whole amount, do you remember what these are? It's okay, we're still learning if you don't remember. There are the parts. So if I have um, one, two, three, four, five hearts, they're not all the same though. They're a little different, right? How are they different? Yeah, some of them are white and some of them are pink. So let's show those different parts. So how many are white, friend? Yeah, there's one. So out of my five, one of the parts is white, right? How many are pink? One, two, three, four. Hey, four are pink. All right, perfect. Well, see, now I organize them in my number bond. And all I did is I looked at my whole amount and I talked about what parts I saw. I could do it the other way too. I could see my parts and put them together, right? Remember yesterday they walked the path? Perfect. Now I have a quiz for you. Are you ready? All right. Now watch carefully. I have five over here and one and four. Watch what happens. I'm going to do abracadabra, switcheroo. Oh, now look carefully. The picture changed but it also kind of stayed the same. Where's my whole amount? Do you see them all together still? Yeah, instead of over here, I moved them, right? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's my whole amount right there. And do I still show the parts? One white, that's a part. And four pink, yeah, that's a part. When I moved it, did it make a difference? No. I mean, number bonds are cool because they can like wiggle all over the place and it doesn't change what's going on as long as all the parts are in their right spot. All right, look at it now. Zoom. what I do? <laughs> I just stretched out. I put the whole amount over here and here are the parts. Excellent. Man, I cannot trick you. What about now? No, oh, I just made them smaller. All right, perfecto. Now, I'm going to show you another way to show these parts because although we're learning about number bonds, we have other tools that we've used before, like counting cubes. If I want to show my whole amount using counting cubes, I'm going to need mm, four pinks. Okay, so let's get our four pink cubes. All right, there we go. And how many white cubes am I going to need? Perfect, one, because that matches my one part. And I can clearly see I have one, two, three, four as one of the parts, and I have one as one of the parts. And when I put them all together in our whole group, I have how many? Yeah, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, when we were using counting cubes before, we were doing parts in whole amounts, but we just weren't calling them that. <laughs> I'm so tricky. We also use our fingers before, right? We use our, our hands to help us count. Like I could start with the pinks. One, two, three, four. And then I could add one more, the white one, and that would be five. So see, we're showing the parts in the whole amount just in a different way. Just this number bond that keeps us organized. But it goes back to the same thing we've been doing with the cubes in our fingers. And you know what? We can color code it when we're doing it on a piece of paper to help keep us organized. How's that sound? I like that plan. All right, so let's try it. So, oh, here I have some cute, cute bunnies. They must be getting ready for the spring. All right, first of all, let's talk about what we see. Oh, you see some pink bunnies and some brown bunnies. Me too. They're so cute. All right, so let's talk about that. Let's use our words to describe what we see. I wrote blank brown and blank pink makes blank rabbits. All right, so blank brown rabbits and blank pink rabbits make all the rabbits all together, right? All right, so how many brown rabbits do you see? Go ahead and count them. One, two, three. Three brown rabbits and how many pink ones? One, two, yeah, two. So three brown and two pink make, how many rabbits do we have all together in our whole group? 
One, two, three, four, five. Perfecto. So three brown, two pink, make five rabbits. All right, well, we just decided our parts and our whole amount already using our words. Good job, us. Let's go ahead and make a counting cube of those, right? So how many browns do we need? Perfect, we need three brown cubes, and how many pink ones? Yes, two. And then did that make five cubes all together? Can you count them? How did I do? <laughs> yes, I had five cubes. All right, perfect. That matches our story, because we had three brown rabbits and two pink rabbits, and then we had five rabbits all together. Hey, that matches. What about, can you do it on your fingers? What would you start with? Yeah, I would start with the three brown ones. One, two, three. And then how many pink ones? Yeah, one, two. Does that match our story too? Three brown and two pinks? Yes, so how many fingers do we have holding up? Five! We are so good, I'm telling you what. All right, now let's try to put that into our number bond. All right, so here's our number bond. We're gonna put in our three brown parts first. All right, so where would that go? Can you go ahead and tap on the box we're gonna put that in? Yeah, remember the parts are separate, so they're gonna be in one of the ones that's connected to the whole amount. So well, let's put them in this one. So I'm gonna draw circles. I don't know how to draw rabbits. So I'm gonna do three brown, and then on the other part, I'll do how many pinks? Yep, two pinks, two. And then that means when I connect them on the path, how many should I have in my whole amount then? Yeah, five, that's how many I have on the other side. One, two, three brown, and then four, five, two rabbits. Oh my goodness, friend, look at all the different ways we have to show different parts and whole amounts. Man, we are so good. Let's give ourselves a super clap on the count of three. One, two, three. We're rocking it. All right, let's try another one. Oh, what about these pretty horses? Oh my goodness, they're so cute. All right, so my sentence says, blank pink, blank blue, make blank horses. So let's start with the pink horses. That's one of the parts I see. So how many pink horses are there? Yeah, go ahead and count them. One, two, three. There are four pink horses and how many blue? Excellent, one blue horse. Now if I have four pink and one blue, how many horses do I have all together? Great, I have five horses. If you need to, you can count on, you can say four and then count on five, or you can just count them all. One, two, three, four, five, if you're not sure. All right, let's go ahead and show that in our counting cubes first. So what, are, what kind of cubes are we gonna pick out of the box? Good idea, we're gonna need some pink ones and some blue ones, so how many pink will we need? Perfect, four. We'll need four pink. One, two, three, four. And how many blue? Yeah, one, to show that one part. Uh, I was out of blue, so I used white. I hope that's okay. All right, so I see my parts. One, two, three, four, and my other part of white. Does that make five all together, like our five horses? Yeah, we'll count them and check me. Oh, yeah, good. And so we did that. We showed our parts and our whole amount using cubes. What about our hands? Can we do that? All right, so how many pink are we gonna color in? Yes, four, because there's four horses. One, two, three, four, and how many blue ones? Perfect, just one. I'm gonna keep just using pink and blue, or pink and white, it just is organized for me. It's kind of like if I had my pencil, I would color these in, and this one wouldn't be colored in, just to show that difference. All right, now, whew, hardest part. Yeah, what about our number bond? Where am I gonna show the four pink and the one blue? Because those are the parts. You tap on one of the boxes. Which box would you put four pink in? Me too. Yeah, I'm gonna put the four pink down here. Why did I put it here and not way up here? Yeah, because right now I'm just showing the different parts. And the parts are down here, they're by themselves, so I can show the difference. All right, good. And then how many blues will I put in there? Just one. And when I put them on together, I should have five. So I have my four pink ones and my one blue one, and then I have one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Wow, we are just showing the parts of five all over the place. We showed them by talking about it in our words. We showed it by using our counting cubes. We showed it by using our hands, and then we showed it in the number bond. Man, oh man, we are rocking and rolling, which is great, because our learning goal says, I can break five into parts and put it back together again. That's exactly what we've been practicing. Friend, you're doing awesome. All right, it's your turn. Here is for what you're gonna send to your teacher in a seesaw. So 
I just want you to finish the sentence. You don't have to worry about the counting cubes or the fingers. I just want you to write down what numbers would be here. It says blank zebras, blank giraffes make blank animals. So look at the number bond. How many zebras are there? How many giraffes? And then how many does that make all together when you put them in their whole amount? Go ahead and fill that out and then send it to your teacher. Good luck, friends.